Hello everybody. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for returning. You are my fellow Americans. Um, for anyone who's just joining me, hello. Thanks for taking some time to see what I'm up to and maybe throw in your two cents. So today we're going to look at a YouTube survey that has popped up. <music> Is the survey so we're gonna start so of course I'm gonna do English all I have to do is scroll down yeah next are you uh, yes I am how old am I let's see right here oh they're just trying to figure out how old Oh, okay. So now we're going to get into the survey. Please consider your experience as a content creator as you answer the following questions. Oh, so best describes the type of content I create on YouTube. Let's see if they even have like religion in here. Fashion, fitness. Okay, so it is social impact sports travel so religions not even in here would you say i'm an online course or lecture <laughs> i could say that gosh i don't know vlog not really i don't live stream anymore i tried doing that for a while but it didn't really work that well news current events Sort of. I do cover news and current events. I don't know. Narrative education. I'm going to say that. Basically just because fashion, family, and parenting. Oh gosh. Career and money. Basically just because I am just trying to educate on the Christian worldview, I guess. I am trying to get, you know, just the female Christian worldview out there, conservative. So I guess that would be the best one narrative education, because I do tell stories and things like that. So let's move on. Let's get to the next one. Which of the following, if any, do you create content for? So basically, I just create content for YouTube. But I put it on Facebook, so there's that, I guess. Thinking about getting an Instagram, but I'm not sure about that one yet. Of the platforms you create content for, which one do you consider to be your primary platform? So that's definitely YouTube. That's where I upload everything. Everything that I share gets shared out. So from YouTube. I feel about like each of the following platforms. YouTube. It's somewhat negative for sure. Which best describes how you feel about each of these? Facebook. Yes, somewhat negative also. Which statement best reflects your overall opinion and perceptions towards each of the following platforms? Critical without being asked for sure. <laughs> um, Yeah, probably that one. Because I don't I don't actually do a whole lot on Facebook. So I basically just share what I'm doing other places. How much do you agree or disagree? You can count on YouTube. Or, and no. No, you cannot count on YouTube to do that. How much do you agree or disagree? I feel confident about my future on YouTube. Uh, no. I'm not terribly confident. That's why I'm making the website. I'm, I am pretty sure... <laughs> That if any of this ever like blew up or whatever, there would be consequences. So that doesn't mean I don't want to blow up. It just means that if my opinions are so very different that I don't think that you two would be okay with protecting them. So is it is YouTube a trustworthy company? No. No, they're not. How much do you agree that YouTube makes a positive contribution or disagree to society? Excuse me. Well, so this one's a little tricky for me, okay? Because even though in the broad scheme of things, I don't think YouTube's very trustworthy. 
I don't think they're very supportive for people. I don't think their tools work all that well as far as when people like copyright claim you. You have to do a lot of work on your end to prove that you didn't copyright claim someone. So it doesn't really follow the law of, you know, America, or, you know, American law, I guess I should say, where you're guilty. I mean, you're <laughs> innocent until proven guilty. So your guilt is not immediate. I don't think they do that very well. But what they do do very well is education. Like, my gosh, you can get a full on education on YouTube for free. And you do have to do a little bit of vetting with people. But for example, that guy, Jordan Peterson, who blew up before that, he put all of his college level lectures on there. You can get Harvard level college lectures on YouTube and they don't seem to censor those. I don't know, but they don't seem to. So, uh, as far as the education stuff, I'm great with that. Um, Oh gosh, I still have to, I guess agree slightly just because of education. If you want to learn something, you can learn it on YouTube. My husband went through the A plus certification by Professor Messer and received, you know, went and took his test, received his A plus certification, and now we live totally different lives. And that's because Professor Messer was able to use YouTube. So I love that about this stuff that's going on now. Um, churches are able to put out their stuff on YouTube. It doesn't get, you know, it doesn't get noticed, but you can do it. You can create it as a resource for your congregation. Um, how much do you agree or disagree with following statement? YouTube is an essential platform for creator success. Oh man, back and forth again on this. Um, I'm going to say disagree slightly just because as long as you are doing something that is not super, um, as long as you're not doing politics or anything that really super matters or, or religion, things like that, as long as you're not doing that, you're going to have a great time here. You're going to make money. Um, you're going to be suggested. You're going to do all that stuff. If you want to talk about things that matter, like politics, like religion, like life choices and things like that, you are go going to have a good time. And that's basically because YouTube doesn't want that on there. They want to be the place that's fun, the place where you can get some education a little bit. They want to be that place. So they make it really hard for you to do anything else. I, I have a second YouTube channel. It's a travel YouTube channel. We just show where we go, what what sort of things we get up to. And that one, you know, I'm still a micro YouTuber on that one. But on that one, I have like three times the amount of people. That's just how it is on YouTube. So I'm going to say that. But, but for people, again, education, things like that, then this is essential. I mean... This is how they disseminate a lot of their information that has helped people greatly. And so next, if you, you said disagree slightly that YouTube is an essential platform for creator success. Why do you say that? Please elaborate. I guess I'll just write that out. <laughs> what I said, I'll just write that out. And education channel or a travel channel or a education travel money channel you will have a great time I guess vlog vlogging would work too or vlogging channel you'll have a great time on YouTube if you are wanting to talk about things that are important so religion politics um I'll just say religion politics we'll do it that way 
you will have a terrible time here. You will not be suggested. And you will not make a make the same amount of money. Okay. Next. How much you agree or disagree the following statement? YouTube is a crucial platform for creator success. I already did this one. How I can count on Facebook to do the right thing for his users. No, I can't. I feel confident about my future on Facebook. No, I do not. How much do you agree or disagree that Facebook is a trust word? Uh, no. They sell everything that they put on there. <laughs> How much do you agree or disagree that Facebook makes a positive disagree? My goodness. Uh, again, I don't see too many people putting education videos on Facebook. But I do see people doing a lot of live stuff there and being very successful. So I don't, I'll do it this way. Especially if YouTube's already, you know, kicked you off. You disagree with following Facebook is a crucial platform for creator success. No, I don't. In the past year, what percent, if any, of your total personal income from being a content creator? Uh, zero. <laughs> I don't get paid for any of this. Let's see. What percent of your total content revenue are you earning? Zero. Like, zero and zero. <laughs> Oh, here we go. I don't make revenue on any of these platforms. Next. How much do you agree or disagree that YouTube cares about edutainment narrative education? So I disagree because, again, it depends on the education, right? It really depends on what kind of education you're trying to put out there. Me doing this kind of stuff, forget about it. I do not foresee what I do going anywhere very far, okay? because of how the algorithm is set out. So, we'll do, YouTube makes it clear to me how to be successful, strongly disagree, values me as a partner, no. Fair copyright, con no. <laughs> makes me feel part of the creator community, no. Makes it fun to be a creator. Okay, so this, they do have little things that chart that, that they try and help you do better as a content creator. The problem is, is that those things that they try and help you with don't actually matter for the algorithm. <laughs> so, <laughs> understands me. Nope, it doesn't understand me. Makes it easy. Okay, so I am going to say it makes it easy. All right, because... I do have my fellow Americans, my returning subscribers, who do come and take a chance on what I'm saying. So, you know, that is great. That's awesome. I love that. Cares about gaming. No. Provides the biggest potential audience. I have to agree with that. I would not have found you, my fellow Americans, without YouTube. <laughs> and that's, that's just facts. Acts responsibly? No, it does not. Cares about my success as a creator. No, I don't think it does all that much. YouTube helps me foster a community with an audience. I think that there are lots of tools once I reach a certain place for me to do that. Just about any tool I want. So, yeah, do that. Uh, YouTube cares about my well. No. <laughs> Allows me to create and share content that I care most about. So, I'm going to agree slightly just because no one's noticed what I'm really doing. <laughs> Helps me advance my career as a content creator. No. Celebrates all creators. Uh, definitely not. Uh, treats creators fairly, no matter their identity. Definitely not. Um, I understand how to get the most out of YouTube as a creator. Definitely not. Communicates well. No. Uh, is committed to gaming. No. What is gaming? Hmm. Celebrates creators. No. Okay. Next. I wonder, I guess they're worried about gaming. I'm not sure. How much you YouTube has fair policies for how creators make money. No. 
I should, I, I like the model better where if you were getting views, no matter what they were, you could get a something for that. Where now instead, you know, you got to do so much for it. Like it didn't, what, whatever. Uh, YouTube is unbiased in removing inappropriate. Nope, you sure are not. Is unbiased about recommending content. Nope. Helps new and aspiring creators succeed. No. Gives everyone a voice. I am going to agree slightly on that because even if I'm just shouting into the void, it's still there for anyone to find. So I'll agree with that. Values the diversity? No, you don't. You do not value that. <laughs> Celebrates my achievements, both big and small? No. Enables creators to succeed regardless of identity? No, because you just put up blocks against that. I understand what impacts? No, not really. Gives me the tools to manage my well-being on the platform. Manage my well I guess like mental health or something? No, I don't even see anything for that. I feel rewarded for the amount of effort? Hmm. I'm going to say disagree only slightly because so I do this thing really part time. Like <laughs> I'm trying to I, I keep trying to find a schedule. Nothing seems to be working. So I'm on this schedule now every Thursday, 4 p.m. I'm going to be here on YouTube and then my YouTube will also and then whatever it is I have here will also be on Facebook on 4 p.m. So I'm going to try and do that. Not only do I think will that give me more time to do research, like I always think of something else I could have said in the video later on. So I'm hoping this will give me more time to put a more well thought out video together and hopefully they won't be as long and rambly either. Gives me viable, no. Provides me the support to manage my well-being, no. Uh, protects me from bullying, no. <laughs> Makes it easy to upload content that I've posted on other platforms. Yes, I have done that before. Celebrates all creators. No. Visibility. And they, it's weird because that's like the third time I've answered that. So gives visibility to authoritative voices when people need news and information. Uh, no, because basically the problem with that is the authoritative voices that they, that they will give heed to basically. Is just the stuff that's already on, you know, you can get a cable, you can turn on your TV with rabbit ears and get that, so. Excuse me. It is transparent about how data is collected and used? No. Allows me to share my interests? Yeah, yeah, it does do that. I mean, I can, I can share with people. Can people find me? I, that I don't know. <laughs> is at the center of creative culture. Uh, that's a tough one for me. I want to say I disagree slightly just because there are so many other ways to do it. I mean, a website is still a way to do it. So you, you're very successful at it. Helps me foster a community. Um, disagree because depending on what kind of community you want to make, mine is conservative Christian. Uh, they don't help you along with that very, very much, so... Okay, so Facebook for everything else. So disagree. Uh, disagree slightly. Okay, so I'm just going to go through this. Let's see. Why would you be sad? Okay, so all my answers for Facebook were basically the same as YouTube. Like, and they had the same problems. So, what type of content do you typically create? Post on the following social media site or video platform. So, longer videos, <laughs> basically. Um, yeah, longer videos. And let's see. Awesome, longer videos. So, what am I? Select all that apply. Okay. Uh, I guess that one, I guess that one, and that one. Next. Uh, phew, gosh, I don't even know. That one. Next. 
How much do you agree or disagree with the following statements regarding policies and guidelines you're required to follow on YouTube as a creator? Oh lord. Let's see how much you agree or disagree regarding the policies. I have a good understanding. I do not. They change. I have a good understanding of YouTube's policies. No. I know where to learn more. Eh, sort of. YouTube's policies and guidelines are easy to understand. Uh, no. <laughs> Satisfied with how often YouTube changes policies and guidelines? No. I have a good understanding of YouTube's policies and guidelines. No. Again. I am worried that my content on YouTube will be censored. Uh, yes, I already am pretty sure it is. Let's see. YouTube. Appropriate frequency. What? Commu please rate YouTube's communications for each of the following. Uh, very poor. <laughs> Relevance? Very poor. <laughs> Clarity is okay. It's acceptable, I guess. I sort of know what... No. Please elaborate on how they can improve communications. Everyone gets an answer. Let's get an answer to a problem. I don't know if that's, that's a good way to put that. Um, let's see. Make your guidelines Oh, okay, I know. Put your guidelines. Put your guidelines on the creator front page. There we go. Next. Which of the following emotions describes your overall experience on YouTube? Let's see, probably here. Here, here, here. We'll do that. Overall experience on YouTube as a creator. Oh, that's a different one. Here, here, here. We'll just make it all that. Creator on the rise. Yeah, I know what you keep telling me about it. And I don't care. Never heard of that before. It looks like they're trying to figure out if their gaming stuff is working. Now please think of the platforms we have seen her recently in the news. Alright, I'll do that. How often have you heard positive stories? Uh, rarely. Rarely. Next. How often have you heard negative stories? Often. 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 Next. What negative news have you heard about YouTube? Uh, let's see. Censoring news creators. Censoring, let's see. Censoring news creators. Not applying guidelines evenly over all creators. Oh, agree or disagree. After hearing a negative story, I typically feel it's unfair to blame YouTube. <laughs> disagree. It is usually... Uh, I distance myself from YouTube. Okay. I don't do that because that's how I hear usually about YouTube's nonsense. <laughs> negative I feel guilty for the actions of... I do not feel guilty for YouTube. I feel upset when I hear negative stories about YouTube. No, I do not feel upset. After hearing a negative story about YouTube, I want you to do something to try and fix resolve the situation. So this is a tricky one because there's nothing I can do. <laughs> like, uh, I, you know, if there was something I could do to make them just be like, okay, nobody can do this, you know, just have rules that apply to everybody instead of willy-nilly, I'd do that. Negative stories I hear about YouTube to be true. Yes. Is it easy for me to recall negative story news? Yes. I feel uncomfortable when I hear negative stories. Disagree. Negative news stories that hurt my personal reputation. No, they don't hurt my personal reputation. Okay, next. After hearing a negative news story about YouTube, which action are you most likely to take? Yeah, I do that. Wait to post content until the incident calms down. Huh. 
consider leaving, do that. Explore, explore other that might be better. Yes, I do all of those. So you said you would most likely to wait to post content until the incident calms down after hearing a negative news story about YouTube. Why do you say that? I want to protect myself, yeah. I feel like I have no other choice. I feel disappointed in YouTube. There. Imagine YouTube was a person in your life. Oh no. <laughs> Which of the following would the relationship between you and YouTube most resemble? Uh, stranger? They have that up? Strain parent. Who is going to click parent? I hope nobody does. Or soulmate. Goodness. Good night. Let's see. If you had to select one, which of the following relationships most resembles the primary relationship between a uh, stranger? If you could choose from any of the relationships below, what type of relationship would you prefer to have with YouTube? Who wants to have YouTube as a secret lover? Ew. <laughs> Yikes. Why is there no, like, okay, teammate, that would be probably the best one. In which of the following moments, if any, do you feel most strongly that YouTube resembles these relationships? Oh my gosh. None of these. Let's see. Pest. After logging in, do you feel like YouTube is a pest? <laughs> hmm, probably that one. Next. Oh, goodness. Please select the set of circles that best describes the extent YouTube value overlaps with your own values. Uh, maybe this one. That's probably the best. Please select the top three values are most important to you in terms of an ideal content sharing platform. Yeah, okay. Balance, suppose. Oh, goodness. All right. Let's do that one. Let's see. What extent does YouTube exhibit each of the following values? Supportive. I guess if you're somebody that they know really well, then you get some support. Otherwise, you completely forget about it. Authentic, not at all. They say one thing to another. Balanced, no. All right. What extent does Facebook exhibit? You should, okay, no. Facebook is completely no. <laughs> Facebook is censoring things like work for yourself, have a good day. Like they're doing crazy stuff over there. How familiar are you with the ability to live stream your video content on the following platform apps? Um, uh, never heard your ability to do that on Instagram. Well, actually, that's not true. I know a little, because I have done that a little. I uh, know, okay, about Twitch, you know, know a little bit about Facebook, TikTok, uh, name only, a uh, fair amount. Which of the following platforms have you used to live stream? Uh, no, I haven't live streamed. Nope. And yes. YouTube. I have live streamed on YouTube a couple of times on this channel. Do you agree or disagree? I prefer to use Facebook to live stream over other platforms. Disagree. Uh, no. I think my favorite one to use at one time was Twitter because it was just and you're done, and then it just saves it to winner, and you're just done. Let's see, how to create live stream videos on the following platform apps. So I'm to say, so it's gonna be both. Do you agree or disagree with statements about live streaming on Facebook? It enables me to reach new audiences. Nope. 
helps me grow my channel? Nope, because I can't reach new audiences. I know how to get most out of this feature. No. Easy to use tools. No. It has easy to use tools on desktop. Yep, that's uh, good. Innovative video content. No. Um, interact directly with my viewers. Yes, it does allow me to do that. Uh, no, I'm not making no money. <laughs> Enables me to reach new audiences. No. Grow my channel? No, it has never helped me do that. I know how to get the most out of this feature. Okay, it's true that I do know, I do not know how to really use it all that much because I don't use it all that much. Has easy to use tools for live streaming on mobile. Yeah, YouTube is pretty good at that. Has easy to use tools for live streaming on desktop. Yeah, it's all right. Uh, allows me to create innovative video content. No. <laughs> allows me to interact directly with my viewers. No, I've never done that. Gives me an additional way to earn money. No, because unless you... Unless you can't accept super chats... I'm pretty sure this is right. You can't accept super chats unless you qualify as like a YouTube creator fund or whatever. So it doesn't if you are somebody like me who's small it really doesn't do anything for you for you to partner crow i know a little bit i know a little bit uh no i am not as people which of the following benefits do creators get access to as part of the youtube partner program oh let's see which of the following benefits do creators get access to i am not sure because not all YouTube Partner Program people get email. You get that, and this, and this, and next. Which of the following types of ads on YouTube are you aware of? Oh, goodness. This one, this one, this one, this one, this one. How familiar are you with each of the following products, services, or benefits offered as part of the YouTube program? Hmm, super things only know. Merchandise shelf, I know a little bit about. Super chat is the one I know the most about. Super stickers, never heard of it. YouTube band, brand connect, never heard of that. Channel membership, I know a fair amount about. Next. How important to you are each of the following product services or benefits? Offered as part of the YouTube Partner Program. Super Chat. I guess pretty important because that is how people make the money. I never don't care about that or that. Ads. Moderately important. Channel membership. I would put at very important because that's pretty much more consistent than ads or anything else. Merchandise shelf, pretty important. I like I like seeing their merch down there. I think that's cool. No, YouTube Premium. I have no idea because I don't know how much you make from that. On which of the following platforms you offer a monthly paid subscription? Do you offer to enable your fans? Okay, so none of the above. Don't. So the YouTube premieres, a feature that allows you to schedule a video. Yes, I do that fairly often. Community posts. Okay, I can't do that because again, <laughs> you can only do that once you reach a certain thing. So comments, no very well. Stories, no very well, I use that. Just a few more questions and how familiar are you with the YouTube creator's website? know a little how familiar the youtube black voices never heard of it don't want to deal with that which of the following categories best describe the type of audience you create content for i'm gonna say the general population because anybody can come in here and you know i'd like to talk with anyone now we'd like you to think about your priorities, as of many areas of your life involves balancing creative freedom and earning money. When you're creating content, which of these do you more often prioritize? 
creative freedom. I want to be able to say what I say because a lot of what I say is not popular. <laughs> How familiar are you with YouTube on the TV as a content creator? Uh, no, that one. There we go. YouTube offers various benefits and programs to creators as they grow. How familiar are you with each of these benefits or programs? Be featured as creator on the rise. So, I only know the name because I don't pay attention to that. They put that out there, but I don't look at it. Like, unlock exclusive production access to YouTube spaces. Never heard of that. Game one-on-one. -on -one. I know a little bit about that just from other videos I've watched. Participate in YouTube Next Step Contest. Never heard of that. Get access to invite-only events like YouTube Fan Fest. Never heard of that. Earn a YouTube Creator Award. I know a little bit about that. You have to meet all the little things they have. Okay. Please allocate points among the benefits and programs below. Give me more points that benefit for what you feel are more important. More important. So... I'll do it that way. How much more value do each of the following benefits of programs make you feel as a YouTube creator? Make me feel. Uh, I don't care. Like, <laughs> there should be an I don't care button. Game one on one. Okay, so if I get this, yes, because that will help me solve whatever problem I have. Uh, okay, uh, no change, because I just, I just want that. <laughs> Are you on fire mail? Bloop. Alright, so that was the most recent YouTube survey. Look out, guys, to see what they're going to be saying next. I hope this helped you in some way, and I'll see you in the next one. Remember to pray and read your Bible.